Football clubs all over the world are suffering due to lack of fans, and that has denied them the revenue from ticket sales. Participating in the continental competitions, that's the CAF Champions League and the Confederations Cup, has put an enormous strain on the finances of African football clubs. But as the saying goes, the show must go on. Here's CGTN's Siesta Duplessis with more. Fans are an integral part of football. Without their presence at stadiums, the beautiful game really is not the same. Clubs like 2016 African champions Mamelodi Sundowns rue not having their army of yellow supporters, but have no choice but to continue without them and face the challenges that come with competing all over the continent in the midst of a pandemic. We have challenges where to travel somewhere in Africa, sometimes you've got to travel to the Middle East, to Doha or to Qatar and then take a connecting flight or you've got to go to France. So the logistics is, is, uh, it takes up a lot of time. If you do not plan uh, well, it, it can be the difference between success on the field or not. So the work that's done off the field is as important as the, as the effort that's put in on the field by our players. Playing in the CAF Interclub competitions is an expensive exercise, with a chartered flight setting traveling clubs back around 100,000 US dollars for a trip. Many club owners with deep pockets argue they have already spent the 600,000 US dollars they would earn for reaching the group stages by the time they get to the business end of the tournament and would rather focus on success locally. Football on the pitch has to get you there. You have to qualify for those uh, competitions and to qualify you have to be in the top three on the, uh, in the domestic league or to win the Netman Cup. So if you don't do achieve any of those, you're not going to be in, in that space. So it means that as much as that's a commercially driven endpoint, but the core business here is football, and you have to perform to your maximum level. And that's something that Sundowns has done excellently. We have a very inspirational leader in Dr. Patrice Motsefe. Um, he sets the bar quite high for Sundowns. So we, we always want to be playing in CAF, we want to be playing in the FIFA Club World Cup. We want to be with the best in the world. Uh, that comes with a cost. It comes with all these challenges we've spoken about, but it's, it's a space where we want to be in. We don't want to be sitting on the sidelines or sitting at home watching uh, other clubs do it. We want to be there at Sundowns. The COVID-19 pandemic has seen clubs incur additional costs, and at 60 US dollars per test, it adds up even for the wealthy Kluert Corp club. But it is a safety requirement, and one that needs to be done properly to ensure the safety of the players. Well, the most important thing is that when we land, um, we have to do a test to, uh, so that for the match we are covered and that uh, we're not going to have challenges where we're going to have players excluded because we've not got tests in time. So it's, it's a new challenge, but again, it, it goes into the planning uh, and you need to take this seriously. Uh, if you do not tick all these important boxes, then, then something goes wrong. Meticulous planning goes into every CAF fixture, from finding the most suitable flights to sending a scouting team to secure backup fields and backup team buses it all requires an incredible amount of detail. And as Mamelodi Sundowns have shown, with proper planning off the field comes success on the field. CS2 Plessis, CGTN, Johannesburg.